For the last six weeks, I have been on four different continents taking countless flights, I don't even want to think about it, to get to 13 different countries to play 18 different shows. It's been amazing. This was part two, installment two of the Nightmares and Daydreams world tour. So in this one, we did Latin America, Hawaii, Australia, and Asia. The final installment takes place in Europe and the United Kingdom, and that's in a couple of weeks. Before this one, we had done the United States earlier this year. Uh, Hawaii got added on to this leg because it was a nice bridge between Latin America and Australia. This leg of the tour tested me more than most tours ever have. We were on a plane every single day or every other day for six weeks straight. A lot of the flights were long, there was overnight flights, early morning lobby calls, flying on show days a lot of the time, which is brutal, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of jet lag. And honestly, I went into this tour with so much anxiety, thinking, how am I gonna get through this tour? What if I get sick? I did get sick, spoiler alert, um, but I did get through it. And I had let myself accumulate so much fear and dread over this tour that I almost forgot to enjoy it when it first started, but I was having so much fun by the end of this tour. I miss it already. I'm very excited to continue the fun in Europe and the UK. Luckily this time without all of the flights, I'm so grateful to be going back to a tour bus where I get my bunk and to sleep in my bunk every night. The first show of the tour was in Brazil, which was really exciting because I've never been to Brazil before. This was my first time there and it's pretty rare that we get to go somewhere for the first time. So I was very excited about this. Good morning, I am in Brazil. It is our first show day of the tour today and also my first time ever in Brazil. We've never been to Brazil before so we've been getting come to Brazil messages for about a decade. I'm packing up right now to go to the venue and I'm gonna get ready and do my warm ups and my hair and makeup and everything there. A typical show day for me kind of looks like loading into the venue before sound check. I usually like to do my hair and makeup at the venue while I'm warming up before sound check. And then we'll do sound check. First sound check of tour. We'll do a meet and greet and then, you know, probably have something to eat, a little snack or something, and then play the show and then get a proper dinner after the show. After Brazil, I really didn't film that much, unfortunately, until we got to Australia because I got really sick in Chile, which is the second show of the tour. I had an overnight flight to Brazil the first day and I think my body just was not used to the travel. I was really worried about getting through the next show. I didn't know how I was gonna get through it, how I was gonna be able to sing. I almost lost my voice entirely by the end of that second show. I didn't know what was going on and so by the time we got to Argentina, um, I had to have a doctor come to the hotel. So, doctor comes to the hotel. He doesn't speak any English. I don't speak any Spanish. Well, I speak the teeniest bit of Spanish, but we're using a lot of translation apps um, to get through this. And Lloyd, my tour manager, was like, hey, you know, I don't want just some random people coming into your hotel room. So I got asked the hotel and they gave us a conference room. We're in this conference room. It's me, my tour manager, Lloyd, this male doctor, and his assistant nurse, who is like a young guy. And He's, you know, looking at my throat, whatever. He's like, okay, yeah, you're sick. You have all this inflammation. It felt at this point like I was swallowing knives. And then he goes, I'm gonna give you an injection first. So the injection goes in your butt cheek. And, you know, we're in a conference room. There's not like a medical table. 30 seconds later, I'm laying on this conference table with my butt out and this doctor and nurse, male nurse, and my tour manager all in the room, and I was like, this is maybe one of the most mortifying things that's ever happened. And it hurt so bad, dude. It was so painful. I was able to sing the next day. Absolutely mortified though, and I can never set foot in Argentina again. That is the end of Latin America. Are you so tall? This is like my angle. Now we go to Hawaii, and then Australia, and then Asia. And then we go home and die for like two weeks. And then we do it all over again in Europe and the UK. Got into Sydney, into the venue. Road trip. What is this? Where's Joa? Uh. He died. <laughs> <laughs>
Cold. We should be allotted some like time out. There should be timeouts like in a football game. We're taking a timeout. Yes. Vehicle. Long vehicle. Did you guys know we're like on the ocean? It is. You know what day it is. Sunday, October 1st. Happy up. Happy, happy, happy October. And I'm tired because this is the fourth show in a row. We're gonna warm up for, for sound check now. The Love is Blind crew. <laughs> Good morning from Mel Melbourne. Yeah, we're in Melbourne. We got to stay in the same hotel two nights in a row. What a luxury. I've got all my stuff packed up. I'm gonna head on down and get on my 200 and 78th airplane of this tour. These things are so good. Dan, did you make a donut company? Yeah, I sit on the board, make a lot of executive decisions. Dan, what's so exciting about this tour? He's only been wanting it since 2016. This is our first truck tour ever, right? Are you excited? If I can drive it. A pointer? Oh, is that like your choir? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know. conductor? conductor? Yeah. We are in Adelaide and I'm doing some laundry right now. The hotel has laundry machines, which is so nice. I'm um, just waiting to go switch over my wash to the dryer and then I'm gonna go try and find dinner. I've been HDMIing into all the TVs in my hotel room and putting on like cozy cafes and libraries with like jazz and just making my room a little vibe, a little fall vibe. Australia. So. One fan brought us Tim Tams in the VIP, so I want to do a little Tim Tam taste test. Tomorrow morning we fly to Perth for our last Australia show, which is sad because Australia's been so lovely. But then we get to go to Asia, which I'm really excited about. Except the trip to Asia. We have a 3 a.m. lobby call after a show, so we literally get to the hotel at like 11.30 p.m. and have to leave the hotel at 3 a.m. And so basically shower and then like a nap and then we have to leave go to the airport and then we have like a 16 hour travel day getting all the way from Perth to Korea last Australia show sold out in Perth yeah, We've never been out. here sold officially door. sold out just sold the last door ticket One, two, three, Australia. see you after thank you so much for watching this video was definitely chaotically filmed because I'm still really getting a grip on how I want to film tour vlogs. It's, it's so hard. Also, I'm moving around all the time. Sometimes it's just hard for me to remember to film all of the time. Um, so I promise I'm gonna get better at it and I'm gonna work on it. But please leave a comment down below and let me know if you like tour vlogs, if there's specific things you wanna see uh, on touring, if there's things that you're really interested in that I wouldn't have thought about. Um, I'm just kind of filming at random right now. So yeah, any feedback or ideas or things that you would like to see that would make you happy and stoked um, please feel free to let me know I think I filmed quite a bit more in Asia so I'm excited to show you that I hope I film more in Asia I'm not actually not sure that might be a total lie but I'm getting my practice in and then we head off to Europe and the UK in just a couple of weeks and some of those shows are our biggest shows of all time our show in Cologne at the Palladium is the biggest headlining venue that we've ever played in so please come out to that show and all of the other shows a lot of those shows also are about to sell out if not are already sold out so if you're planning on coming to the UK or Europe for the nightmares and daydreams world tour get your tickets I will put the link down below but the link is also atcofficial.com slash tour you can find all the ticket links there I think all of the VIP upgrades are already sold out but double check to make sure there might be a couple left in a few cities I am super super freaking excited for that tour because it's just gonna be epic it's gonna be huge um, it's gonna be 
you know, our biggest headlining tour to date. And I can't wait and I hope you can come be a part of it as well. Leave a comment down below if you've already been to a date on the Nightmares and Daydreams World Tour, whether it was in North America, Latin America, Australia or Asia, or if you're planning on coming to the UK or Europe, let me know where I've seen you or where I will see you. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, love you. Thank you.